Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I don't really know what I have in mind. I just want to kind of like sit down, talk to you, do my makeup, do a nice glowy fresh look, and that's pretty much it. Just want to do a quick toot for you guys and catch up and talk. Um, apparently my bun is like too big that's not even in the frame, so there's that. If you'd like to see my glowy makeup tutorial, then please keep watching. Okay guys, today we're just sitting down. We're just winging it. I have my normal face routine here. We're gonna just be super glowy and dewy on the face. And I want the eyes to be like really nice, neutral, sheer, but glowy and glittery. Does that make any sense? So let's just hop into it. I'm using my typical Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Beige. Guys, I'm so excited because supposedly they're starting to open things up in LA starting today. Today is Friday, May 8th and Supposedly, we only have a week left of quarantine, but I don't really understand, like, everything's not going back to normal, so I don't know what the May 15th, like, release date is. We'll see. I'm supposed to go back to esthetician school on the 15th. Um, I've been doing it online, but I'm not sure. But I'm just excited. I'm in a good mood, I feel. I feel like I have a lot of good content coming for you guys, a lot of good vids. Um, I'm in the middle of shooting my office redo like building my dream office i just got in the couch and built it last night so i'm filming that for you i just have to wait till a few other things come in the mail I just have like a lot of videos coming i've been still uploading three times a week i need to like bronze my neck when i'm done so i can match i'm finally self tanning tonight i don't know why i just didn't feel like it if you self tan you already know it's like you don't feel like doing it you know so we're back to the classic Too Faced Born This Way concealer this is in the shade Almond I woke up at 6 20 today for some reason could not go back to sleep so I need all the concealer I could possibly get I should have done a corrector but this one has such good coverage okay we're gonna blend that out I feel like the breakouts are finally going away so my skin looks better I don't know what kind of look I want to do I just felt like sitting down and filming a makeup too I just been loving my like go-to natural look that I always do for you guys same face I always do and then my dose of colors like neutral browns on the eyes just super classic and cute I just feel like it makes you look so glam and put together but yet you don't look overdone also fun fact my desk chair is broken somehow i barely got it maybe like two years ago and what it does is like it just keeps sinking down it's like the kind that you can adjust up and down and so i'll just be sitting here filming and i'll slowly be getting lower 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 and then all of a sudden i'm like how am i this low <laughs> so if you see me sinking that's why i'm waiting for home goods to open so i can get another one this is our fenty matchstick and truffle draw the little cat nails that's all i'm gonna do I did my makeup the other day. When did I do it? I did my makeup. I don't remember, but it was off camera. I don't remember what I did it for. If I did it to like film a video that wasn't a makeup tutorial, but I like took my time and I contoured and I did everything so precise. And I feel like it comes out better when I don't film. When I'm filming, I feel like I'm just like distracted and almost like rushing so that I don't take forever. But my makeup came out so cute that day. My nose contour was so good. I'm like, dang, I really need to do that again. I love this contour stick. It just blends beautifully, and I love the tone. I feel like it almost gives me more of a contour than the Charlotte Tilbury one. And the Charlotte Tilbury one is darker, but just the way that this blends out, it really stays. And the Charlotte Tilbury one will kind of like blend in with my skin. Now I'm going to set my whole face with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Setting Powder in the shade Carrots. I did a makeup organizational video, which you will see before this video. And I like went through all my makeup, got rid of stuff that I don't use or that I don't film with. And I like cleaned everything. I wiped down all my makeup, like, you know, when it gets those little fingerprints on it. And it just made me so excited to film because everything was so clean and so organized. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Max Studio Fix in N4. I can't wait till all the stores are open so I can go makeup shopping. I do not like buying makeup online. I like just going in and like testing it, swatching it. But there's so many things I need to buy. Okay, next we're gonna go in bronzer. We're gonna do the MAC Gimme Sun. I need to bronze this hairline. So bad. I just love a bronzy look, especially for summer. And it's 100 degrees here in LA, so welcome summer. Apparently we skipped spring since we were stuck inside. I'm gonna use my Hula and contour. Hula is from Benefit Cosmetics. Then I'm gonna slightly contour my nose with the same Hula and my Morphe brush. This is the E62. I'm 
Next, I want to do all my highlight under my blush so everything blends seamlessly. And I do want to do more highlight than I normally use today. So I'm going to start with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flash Palette. This has four shades. It needs to be dusted. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. This is the R36. I'm going to mix all four shades. And just do like a nice little dust over the whole cheekbone area. I'm also going to go up here. And then I'm going to go up here above the brow as well. Just to get this. And then go in a circular motion so it doesn't look like a stripe on your face. And I'm going to take my finger and just go down the nose with it. And then just use right here. Then lastly here, right above the lips, it's going to get blended. But I'm going to first take the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighter. This is in the shade Bomb. So this is like her strongest highlight. I rarely use this, but I just really love how it looks. It is a fine milled powder, so you literally need like the slightest bit. Like I don't even get that much on my brush and I tap it all off into the cap. And then I just do this one like right here. Gives you that extra little bing. Now normally this is like too much highlight. Like who am I? Like blinding, right? But our blush is going to go and everything's going to be blended. We're going to do setting spray, all of it. I'm using my favorite blush in the world. This is the MAC Floor Power. I'm going to take my Smashbox Slanted Brush. And I want to keep this higher and not come as far in as normal. And then I blend with the tip of the brush. And it's going to look crazy at first. But it's going to be all blended and lifted. See, clown, clown vibes. Put a little over the nose. Then we're going to take our brush. And then blend this out in a circular motion. Also, your blush will wear off during the day. It's like the first thing to wear off. But I want this to be like summery and glowy and just so cute, you know, like vibes. And our eyes are going to be super clean, so it's okay if our cheeks are stronger. And I'm going to clean up now with my Charlotte Tilbury Everest Falls Finish Powder in the shade 2. I feel like I could never say that. It's always like... Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to take my brush I use to set my under eyes. Get a little bit of that on. Clean her up, then take it right in the inner to make sure there's no hard edges right here. Then I'm going to take my highlight brush. I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to touch that up to make sure there's a little left. When I used to do freelance makeup, they would call it the burrito technique, where after your cheek was done, you would take translucent powder. You would go with this like a burrito shape along the cheekbone, and you'd make sure there was no hard edges. It's a pretty cute technique, I guess. Now let's take our setting spray. We're going to do the Fenty. What it do setting spray. I'm going to put a lot of this on because I love it and it smells good and it doesn't really make your face wet, which is really good. I'm loving how the face looks. It's like summer, fresh. I'm going to do my brows real quick and then I'll be right back. I'm using my usual suspects, the Anastasia Soft Brown Brow Definer and then my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Okay, my brows are all done. So we're going to do eyes. Like I said, I want to do like my go-to natural neutral browns. So we're going to use my Dose of Colors palette. Then we're first going to use my favorite neutral brown shade here. We're just throwing that in the crease and it makes a world of difference. It looks so good. You could literally just use this one color and it would look so good, but we're going to use more than one color today. I'm keeping this a little higher, like right in here instead of on the lid. I want to keep the lid blank because I want to do like a nice shimmer. But I just love this clean look. To me, it's like summer vibes. Like clean, bronze, glowy face, a neutral little brown on the eyes with some sheen. So good. And I want the lip to be super glossy too. This is just that one color. Let me do this on the other side now. And I'm going back and forth like the windshield wiper motion. But I'm also going in a circle. And then like I said, I'm just keeping that brush higher. Okay, I don't want this to get too dark, so this is the only crease shade I'm going to be using. And then let's put this on the bottom as well. I'm going to use my favorite little bottom brush. This is Bedellium Tools 776. It's a dupe for a MAC brush. They make them in the same factory, actually. And it's like stiff but still fluffy. And I'm just doing this underneath. I want it to be like cute and bronzed and diffused down here. Since this shade is like a lighter brown, I can go a little lower than I would with the color. And then it will make my eyes look more round than almond, which I'm fine with because I have like super almond eyes. And then I just kind of connect the two at the corner. Okay, so this is now done. If you wanted to, you could leave this here, but I'm going to go on with my favorite Natasha Denona little palette. This is the Cranberry palette. And I'm going to just go in with this shade here. 
This is called nude. I'm gonna just take my ring finger, get a little bit of this, and put this mostly in the center, and then just kind of blend out with whatever's left over. Just like clean, nude, fun. You always wanna make it the most intense with a lighter shimmer in the center because it'll make your eyes pop, it'll make them look bigger. So if you need to go back and put more in the center after, you can do so. And I just like blending it with my finger into those edges. You can always go back in with your crease shade and just make sure that that's still defined and no shimmer got on it. Then I'm gonna take my favorite, favorite inner corner, you already know, Cookie by Benefit. I'm gonna take that on my favorite inner corner brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40. And just put that here. So it ties in the highlighter on your skin and it makes your eyes look super open. This also ties in the lid color. And then I'm just gonna put one little dab. I don't like a lot of like a shimmer under my brow bone, but one dab right there at that arch, it's gonna make your eyes look lifted. Now for the waterline, I'm going to do a white. This is just a white eyeliner by MAC. You can use any brand. I don't like it when it's like super, super white where you can tell like you have white eyeliner on. So I put a little bit and then I'll just kind of like blink it out. And if you put it on kind of like early on during your eyes, then by the end it will be more subtle. And I'm trying to debate if I want to use a brown liner or a black liner or no liner. I am going to do the House of Lashes Iconic. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of liner I want to do with that. I'm actually going to curl my lashes first. Just a little. This is by Japanesque. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. We're just doing a thin line. Just kind of want like the lash band to blend and just define the eyes a little bit more. Then I'm gonna do my Lash Paradise mascara first. This mascara is so good, guys. It's like eight dollars at the drugstore. No lashes would be cute, but I think I want to do lashes. Okay, I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I put on my favorite Lily Lash Miami because for some reason those House of Lashes like never stick for me, and I just love this so much. So I'm gonna do my bottom mascara with the Mac Extended Play. Okay, our eyes are all done, so now we just have lips left. For the lips, I want to keep this just like a nice neutral nude, but like super, super glossy. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever in Wherever Walnut. This is like a really good color. It's the same color as your lips, typical. It's really easy to overline with this color if you want a color to overline, if you have a similar skin tone to me. So here's just a lip liner, and then for lipstick, we're going to use our Charlotte Tilbury in Nude Cake, which is really neutral, and then I want to make this super glossy. So we're going to use the Dose of Colors Gloss in Over the Top. I'm putting the gloss all over and I'm just putting extra in the center to make it really pouty. And that is it for my look. This is my little summer glowy makeup toot for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.